Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing the audio, one, two, three. So I'm about to record a podcast about one of my most favorite things in this world, which isn't surprising because I'm a Scorpio and Scorpios love creepy things, but I am doing a whole podcast on serial killers or rather the obsession that people have with serial killers, with crime, true crime, crime podcasts, crime TV, things like that. And also towards the end, I'm gonna to touch on the psychology behind falling in love with a serial killer. You heard me right. That and more on today's episode of Thick and Thin. If I did this again and again, I guarantee you I wouldn't be going the same direction that I'm going now. I'm always working on a million creative projects, so it's natural that I would kind of run out of inspiration sometimes. So when I do, I love turning to Skillshare, which is an online learning community. You guys know I've talked about Skillshare numerous times in the past. I really love it. I pay for it with my own money each month. It's a great investment towards just broadening my horizons. This video is sponsored by Skillshare, so thank you Skillshare. I love putting on random classes while I'm working or just like doing who knows what. I mean, this one's more of a follow along because it's a drawing class. It's called um, Start Drawing, three fun freeing exercises to spark your creativity. It's led by an artist that I follow on Instagram, but I also will just put on any like productivity uh, classes, things like that, where, you know, just someone who is very qualified and very smart talks about things. Like I really just love hearing people talk about things they're passionate about. So I'll have Skillshare linked down below so you guys can check it out if you want to, if you haven't tried it yet and have been thinking about it or have never heard of it in your life, definitely check out Skillshare if you're just wanting to learn something new and don't really know where to start. So you can sign your name, it's always good to sign. All right guys, so work day is done. I am going to Whole Foods, surprise, I'm like always at Whole Foods. I'm going to get some charcuterie supplies because guys, it has been a hot second, more like a hot minute or like hot 15 minutes since I've made a cheese board, like a charcuterie board creation. You guys know I was making a million of them in LA and I don't know what happened. I just like, I just haven't made any recently. So I'm having Adam and Emily over. Everything's looking decently clean. Even when like my best of best of friends come over, I still insist on tidying up. I don't know if that's something everyone does, but I just can't stand my apartment being messy when people are over. I mean, it's definitely like not impeccable, but I picked up most things. successful trip to Whole Foods. Now I'm gonna go back and whip up the board. So the boards I'm going to be using are from Crate and Barrel. They're this really fun, like, I guess not really fun, but very classic, very classy looking slate. So I got two of them. I got a larger one and then a baby one. And I think I'm gonna use the baby one tonight since I just have two people coming. Yeah, I feel like it'd be excessive to use the large one, but we'll see. I did get quite a lot of stuff. I got very carried away, but I plan on using the stuff I got for a few boards. So I'll probably have another one to make this weekend. I'm gonna divide the resources, not use them all up at once, but I got a lot of good stuff. I got some new cheeses that I've never heard of before. Oh, you can put my nails in there, you're so cool, man. 
Look at Emily's nails. Wait, yeah. those are really cool. I'm flexing. Wow. I got a manicure. Did you get yours when you wanted it? Yes. Your pedicure. No, I didn't. I ended up cutting it myself. So Adam is working on an Instagram. I'm writing a story about Tribeca Rich Dad, which is what I'm naming this outfit. And yourself. Wait, can you and read, me. Can you read it? So, so far I have. Oh. I call this Tribeca Rich Dad, obsessed with athleisure and overpriced sneakers, en route to watch his kids' soccer practice, solely so he can brag about his kids to all the other Tribeca Rich Dads. And we're working on finishing it off because that's not funny enough and it's not yeah. really my humor coming through I mean, through I enough. think it's hilarious. Oh, I know, but you know my humor. I need like a little bit of extra, so... <laughs> We got a little bit left to go. I just see him typing away over here and I'm like, what are you working on? And I was like, I'm writing a story. <laughs> I'm currently sitting in Bryant Park. I'm like holding the phone steady because my hand is so shaky from working out and like lifting weights and stuff. So I just wanted to give you guys a little update on how my workouts have been going with Jane. I think it's been roughly five weeks that we've been seeing each other three days a week working out. And I feel so much stronger. I was getting like kind of teary eyed in the elevator leaving the training gym today because I have just noticed in myself such a change like I am so much more energized so much more confident especially when it comes to lifting things like I feel more confident I feel like I'm really more myself than I've ever been it's just wild how much better you function in all areas of your life when you feel stronger when you feel like you have a routine. And I love working out with her because I know that I'm doing everything correctly. I always used to walk into different gyms and just feel more anxious than inspired. And I never really felt like I got a great workout. And so working with a trainer has been life-changing. Even just a couple of sessions to get your form right and make sure you know how to use certain machines, like things like that. Just, wow, I feel so much more confident in a gym setting now than I ever have. Weight has never been a part of this like weighing myself has never been a part of it I don't even know my weight right now and I don't intend on weighing myself at any point throughout this journey because if anything I feel like I'll gain weight because I'm gaining muscle and that's perfectly fine with me it's never really been about the appearance as much as just how I've been feeling like I really want to feel stronger and more capable and I want to feel more confident all right guys we're here at Italy downtown Adam so is so excited. excited. We got so much food. Wait, we need to tell them the most important part about the cheese. So this one, he said, is alcohol cheese. It's gonna taste exactly like alcohol. So I'm hoping we get a little buzz. So Adam it. just like wants to get hammered tonight. Adam's like, wanna, where are we going after this? I just wanna get drunk. <laughs> Love my cheese. <laughs> anyway, so we're digging into this. I'm gonna try to film more and remember to show you guys. We also got some meat. Yeah. Oh, oh my yeah, goodness, where do you put, put it? it? Wait, that's so... It. Adam goes, can you bring some prosciutto as well? Oh, I get one too? <laughs> Stunning! Yes, we're using this oh. FBI company, Erlomax. Amazing. The guanciale we use is imported from Italy. It's a pork chip cure. San Carlo is the brand. And then we finish with black pepper and full the pecorino romano. Wow. We're just documenting it. We're like, look at that. Wow, these bowls are even so beautiful. Adam's I getting his cut. I am literally so excited to eat. I am so excited. My that was an experience. My lactose intolerance gonna be real bad. Yeah, did you know this. Adam's lactose intolerant? But I'm gonna eat all of it. But you wouldn't so know. Happy. What did the waiter ask us? He said, do we have any dietary restrictions? And what did Adam say? No, sir. Bring me out all the milk, all the cream, all the pasta. <laughs> Guys, today is an exciting day. I'm about to go record a collab. My first collab since like the Stone Ages. Seriously, it's been forever since I've recorded any sort of YouTube collab or anything with any other creators. So I'm so happy that my first one back from 
wherever I was, <laughs> is with my friend Brooke. You guys all definitely know her. If you know me, you know her. We're recording a truth or drink video, and to be quite honest with you, I'm like nervous. Like, I feel like there's gonna be some serious like YouTube tea questions asked, and it's gonna be interesting. So I'm gonna curl my hair, head over to hers to record, pick up some chasers on the way. The funniest part of this whole thing is it's 2.30 right now. Like we're, it's like a Wednesday. It is Wednesday, 2.30, Wednesday, getting lit. We're gonna grab some drinks and dinner after with our friend Emma, who's gonna be our moderator. So yeah, I hope to maybe film a few clips. I probably won't remember to, but anywho, I'm gonna curl my hair with my, um, Remington curling iron I've had since sophomore year of college, so <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. I went on a date last night. Like my face is puffy. I feel like not great <laughs> right now. I swear going on dates, like I always get hungover. <laughs> the next morning I'm like, oh my God, ouch. So I still did manage to get myself out of bed and go for a walk this morning, surprisingly. So luckily I did keep my promise to myself, AKA that I was going to move my body five days this week. So I'm proud of myself. It's now Friday. I have quite a bit of work to do today before it's officially the weekend and I just can't stop thinking about how much I wanna get into bed. And you know what guys, the show must go on even after an excessive amount of dirty martinis. But yeah, the date was really cute. Um, I'm not gonna disclose too much information, but it was great. I love dates. I'm really happy that New York dating seems to be back and better than ever. So hopefully more dates in the future. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm tight-lipped and I'm hungover, so <laughs> let's get back to work. My peonies are looking beautiful. There's a few that still need to pop, so I'm gonna put them in the window. Pooja, where are we going? We are going to... We're going to get a drink. Oh, at Sal Rose. At Sal Rose. Oh yeah, Colby. So going to sell Rose. Should I check out all this like cool street art we have going on? It's a yes. New York vibe. Hey, where are we going? 